Good evening and welcome to the Wednesday, May 2023 Orange Board of Selectmen's meeting. Uh, I might have got a different routine here tonight. In the event of an emergency, we have a door to my left, another one to my left, and one straight down the back. If you were to have to leave the uh, room in this crowd in an emergency. <laughs> um, with that said, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, pen. I'll start down on my... There we go. You got to lean a little so I can see. On my Good evening, left. Mitch Goldblatt. Good evening, PJ Shanley. Good evening, everybody. John Crangelo. Good evening, Ralph Openquist. And Denny, secretary to the board. Okay. Public participation. Public participation is for any item that is not an agenda item. We allow two minutes per speaker. Seeing none, we'll move on. Does anybody at the table have announcements? Yes, Mitchell. I want to thank everyone who came out for our Hasway Shredding Day. It was extremely successful. Uh, we collected approximately 13,000 pounds of paper, um, which is more than we've done in the last several times. Uh, 27 mattresses were recycled, and there were 116 vehicles from Orange that came out with hazardous waste. Uh, slightly less than the last time, the first time we did it, but still considered a success. Um, and of course, the Orange Community Women and the um, Buy Nothing Orange group felt very successful as well with the number of people that came out to exchange materials uh, and another way of recycling. Uh, so it was a, a great day for everyone, including the Orange Rotary Club, the Orange Lions Club, but the Rotary Club especially with their scholarship fund based on um, the donations that were generously given by people raised over about $2,400 in, in donations that day for the shredding day. Thank you. And we're going to do it again in October. We just got to pick a date. But it'll be in October. They were, uh, it was very positive. We had a lot of good commentary on it. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else here have announcements? If not, there's a few here tonight. Um, Wednesday, May 17th, 2023, is the town referendum. On the budget will take place from 6 a.m. until 8 p.m. in this room here at High Plains Community Center. The budget hearing was a couple weeks ago, and tonight we will just receive the budget, and then it will that will adjourn to referendum. Friday, May 26th, the Racebrook School Food Truck Festival is on Friday. It's always the Friday before Memorial Day out here on the fairgrounds. Um, it's kind of a fun night, usually pretty good crowds, and last couple of years they had quite a few food trucks. It's a, it's a nice event. It gets a little pricey sometimes, but it's a nice event. It's, it goes to an excellent cause to help the Racebrook School PTO. Sunday is May 28th. Memorial Day ceremony and parade will begin at 10.30 a.m. at the gazebo at the fairgrounds, and uh, weather permitting, the parade steps off after that. Monday, May 29th, town offices and the transfer station will be closed for the Memorial Day holiday. Saturday, June 10th, is another great event on the fairgrounds, is the Orange Congregational Church uh, Strawberry Festival. Uh, it's going to take place from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and the rain date is the Sunday, the uh, June 11th. But that's uh, Saturday, June 10th, is the church's Strawberry Festival. That's Another great event on the fairgrounds. Uh, Mrs. Shaw is waiting for everybody to come in come June. June is dog license month. So residents who own dogs should obtain their yearly license from the town clerk before June 30th. If you don't, she'll send a warrant out for you. <laughs> or she won't come and put a picture of your dog on the bulletin board in the town hall as they come in for their license. If your dog is friendly, you can bring it with you to get its license. Sunday, July 2nd, is the Independence Day concert and fireworks, and the rain date is July 9th. 
The festivities begin at 6.30. Uh, there'll be food trucks, the concert, concert featuring AM Gold Yacht Rock, a Beatles tribute band, followed by the fireworks at 9.30 p.m. Please try not to start setting up your sites until at least 9 a.m. would be nice. I mean, there's people start at 6 o'clock in the morning out there putting out their location. But those are all I have for announcements for tonight. Minutes. To consider and act upon the minutes of the April 12th, 2023 regular meeting of the Board of Selectmen, are there any errors, omissions, or corrections? If so, state page and paragraph. If there are none, is there a motion to be made on this? So moved. Okay, motion's made Jim, by Ralph. I just Ralph. have one uh, possible change. I'm just trying to find it. It's uh, to the Fred Wolf Park Ad Hoc Committee, page four, under committees, item two. Okay. Um, the second sentence they have met with several vendors at, they have met with several vendors at the next meeting they'll be in the process of reviewing proposals and interviewing the vendors i think okay and interviewing yes okay with that change made to the motion and is there a second second any other discussion hearing none all those in favor aye, aye. opposed stay in unanimous thank you New business, to consider and act on the request to approve the bid for Town Hall, Clark Building, and Library Cleaning Services. Mr. Britton went out to bid on this. They have uh, provided you with a document and their uh, um, thought of this, and uh, he would like to recommend Champion Maintenance and Construction LLC with its bed, bid of four thousand one hundred and fifty seven dollars does anybody have any questions or mr Britton's here somewhere if anybody does oh wait yep mitchell does uh, who's the current vendor current was a high bid was uh um we currently are using champion at the library and at the clark building and um uncle sam's is at the town hall so this would have champion do all all three Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. Any questions on that one? Seeing none, is there a motion to approve his bid process for that? So approved. Okay. Is there a second on that? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Stain? Unanimous. To consider and act on request to approve the bid for pool equipment room sump pump replacement at High Plains Community Center. Mr. Britton is on this one also. Um, Bob, would you like to speak to this one? Sure. Uh, this project replaces the um Mechanical and electrical components. There's two little pump stations in the floor down in the pool equipment room. Um, the original pumps that were put in in the 70s burned out or died a long time ago, and they've just been buying little Home Depot ones. Um, so the town's wanted to put better pumps in there so that it doesn't get uh, as flooded. Uh, we went out to bid, advertised on the, the state contracting website, and only received the one bid. I guess it's kind of a small job for mechanical contractors. Uh, we've had good luck with Rotolo Mechanical. They've done other work in the equipment room, so um, I'm confident so, they'll do a good job. But you did advertise it on the, through the state portal? Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's hundreds okay. of contractors, and uh, of those that were at notified, and of those, dozens are mechanical, electrical, and I can't answer why nobody else bid on it. Okay. <clears throat> Questions for Mr. Britton? Motion to be made? So moved. Second. Okay, motion is made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Unanimous. Okay, item number three. This one's an interesting one. To consider and act on request to approve the purchase of two patrol vehicles. Um, you have some 
documentation there provided by the assistant chief and uh, there's some other information that goes along with this. The uh, state bid price was a couple thousand dollars less than what we're asking. However, there were none available on the state bid price. Bob Thomas Ford had, has, or had, six black um, explorers out there but they were $13,000 more than, they're not the state bidder, they were $13,000 more than the state bid and did not wish to move on their price since there is such a short supply of them at this time. And uh, with further checking, the Massachusetts state bid had a dealer that has six silver cars, which is generally the color we use, and they were to about $2,000, $1,800 more, as I recall, something like that. And um, so I said that as long as it's through a cooperative state bidding process, that would be okay. And in the meantime, the state of Connecticut bid has gone up, is now $42,000, so they're actually $2,000 more than uh, what the Massachusetts dealer is willing to sell us the two explorers for. So that's the nutshell version of it. Questions on that? Max is here, and I am too. We spent a little bit on that. Does anybody have a thought on that? Mitchell. Just a question that Max can answer is like, there's 169 towns. Well, not all of them have their own, their own police force, a lot of state troopers. I mean, we can't be the only ones in this situation. So I'm like, what are other towns and cities doing at this point if they're not able to get out in the state bid? Are they, I mean, I'm just curious. Really? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So they found these, and the dealer in Massachusetts agreed to hold uh, two until tonight's meeting. So tomorrow they have to notify him, thumbs up or thumbs down, and uh, we'll go from there. I thought it was kind of lousy, even though we don't often buy all black, but. Bob Thomas knew they had the biggest fish on the line, and uh, so they weren't moving on price. Excuse me, Jim. So these are in this current year's budget, or these in next year's budget? This We're is in the money for this is coming from the road duty account, it is. which there is plenty of funds in that revenue account. Okay. You know, with all that cable work you've been seeing around town with the police cars sitting by them, <laughs> yeah. Cable work is leaving a lot of litter we behind, but yes. Around. Well, because of that, you're buying two police cars. Okay, is there a motion to be made for that approval? So moved. Second. Okay, motion is made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Unanimous. Okay, item number four is to consider an act on request of $42,190 in low SIP funds for the site work preparation for the playground and parking area at Fred Wolf Park. That was uh, all that was done and graded and completed over there. It's low SIP funds as we had stated in the past and low SIP funds as we've used for this project right along. Questions? Yep. Where does this fall in relation to what we did last month? Last month we approved- Last month we paid for the fill. This month we got the bill for the work. So last month we approved lifeless with funds <clears throat> for playground and parking in the total of 50,000. Right. And that was not the same as what's on tonight's agenda? Well, I'm, I'm, you have I'm to ask me again because we're in right. a line, not around the table. I'm sorry. One was the product, one was the labor, is the short version. Okay, and I guess, so it leads me to a couple other questions, Jim. I don't think any of us have a handle, maybe you do, a handle on what this Fred Wolf Park um, playground is actually costing us. We got a, we got a grant from the state. Mm -hmm. There was some fundraising done by the committee, which I understand was very little as it turned out for various reasons. Um, we've approved a couple of different things along the line. Mm -hmm. You know, Do we have any kind of total budget for this uh, playground and ancillary work that goes with it? And because we've, got, we've now had two or three pieces of it 
and each time we do it, I feel like, okay, we're done, but I guess we're not. So no, just, you're not done. So what's, two, and there'll be two more coming. And what's coming after this? After this will be the fence and the sidewalk. Okay. And none of that was in consideration when the total cost was, was thought about? No, what is, it, what is, I guess, what is the total cost of this playground, everything can include? By the time, you're, well, the playground is, with the grants and all, was 530 approximately. And then you have to add these other pieces to it. You'll probably be into this for probably 700. 700. Mm -hmm. Which is quite a bit more than, as I recall, the meeting that was held by the playground committee with its estimates. Well, that was only for the playground. There are certain things that they do and certain things that this board does. Is there any way we can get a listing of what makes up $700,000 for this playground? Sure. If okay. we had called earlier, we would have brought it with us. Okay. I'll send it to you tomorrow. Thank you. Um, and all the money, this additional money is going to come from LOSIP, or mm -hmm. is it coming from budget? LOSIP money. Okay. Thank you. Yep, and there's still more to go there. Even after this fence and sidewalk and the completion of the curbing, because at some point there will either be a grant, a funding source, or our funds for a rest area there, a pavilion area with, uh, you know, a water fountain and sure. You know, that sort of thing. That will come with time. That's not coming at this point in time because that's something else that's going to happen. Okay. I mean, it's just... That's it's, down the road. I know. There's a lot of things down the road. And we just keep... We get bits and pieces as we go along, and, and everything's, everything turns out to be... I think in the long run will be great, but I just think this board should understand exactly what the total, the total project is. I don't think anybody has a handle on it but you, quite frankly. Well, I think they do, but... They being the, who? The committee. Okay. They do. I was with them the other night. They they do. But, um, you know, it is what it is. It's going along. It'll be a great thing. Unfortunately, the one that we built when Senator Schlossberg was in behind Mary L. Tracy at the time, that was the public playground. And then with the events that happened, that became off limits during uh, school hours and school events. And... Um, Actually, it's one of the reasons also why the playground didn't end up here was because of at camp time, there were also is off limit times here. So they couldn't go to any schools, couldn't go here because they're all off limits for uh, certain I'm, hours. I'm not questioning so. the, the playground itself or, no, or the, need for a play, or the need for the playground. We've, I think we've all supported it. It's just, you know, like I say, Understanding that the total the total package and what goes with it would be very helpful to us. Thank you. All right. Okay. Motion made. So moved. Is there a second? Okay. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Unanimous. Item number five is to consider and act on the request to conduct a public hearing during the June 14th. 2023 Board of Selectmen meeting regarding the Neighborhood Assistance Act application submitted by Southern Connecticut Hebrew Academy. This is a yearly event that we have to do. It does not cost the town of Orange any money. It is a state-funded program that the New Haven Hebrew Day School participates in. They have participated in for years, and it has to be approved by this body in order for them to uh, be on the receiving end from the state of Connecticut. But uh, it's been a program that we've approved, I don't know, probably way back with you even, it possibly. So is there a motion to be made on that? So moved. Okay. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain. Unanimous. Item six is to consider an act on request to hold the 11th annual Rotary Club of Orange Thanksgiving Day 5K and two mile walk on November 23rd and waive the rental fee for High Plains Community Center Gym Cafeteria and to hang the banner over Orange Center Road. 
I don't know if Carl is here. I know he's not here. Um, the only part that we never quite know if it can be done is the banner, depending on Mother Nature and all, but we'll approve it that way. Okay. Motion's made. Second. Second made. All in favor of supporting the Rotary Club? Aye. Aye. Aye unanimous. Item 7 is to consider the approval for the vending license for the novelties, Howard Dragonoff, Action Enterprises. I think he's done that since he was about six. <laughs> is there a motion to be made on that? Motion's made. Is there a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Staying unanimous. Item number eight is to consider an act on the request to approve the tax refunds for the month this month, totaling $5,878.03. Any questions or thoughts on that one? Hearing none, is there a motion? So moved. Okay. Motion's made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Staying unanimous. Okay, is there a motion to adjourn this meeting at, better go by this one, 722. We're adjourned at 722.